on the grassroots level to bring together people from Israel, from Palestine and from Germany into joint projects. Whether they are school projects or on university levels or like Barenboim's site foundation promotes, for example, the meeting of um, musicians. Um, if it's cooking for peace or dancing for peace, whatever it is, it's on a, lo on a let's say, a grassroots level, an encounter for people from the three regions to get each other known. Um, secondly, the image of Israel and Palestine is extremely negative in, in Germany. Our leading medias are only covering um, the head of states and, let's say, the negative examples of both societies. So showing either the terrorists um, um, from Palestine or um, aggressive settlers or violent uh, soldiers from Israel. So we never see in our medias the beautiful, warm-hearted, um, yeah, empathic, let's say normal people from both societies with whom we feel the solidarity or with whom we feel a kind of um, um, yeah, joint or common goal. So the idea is um, through an exposition and through a public day to give organizations a platform or a stage. So this is the second goal. So to, to um, bring those organizations into public awareness. The third one is what we call a roadmap for peace written by women. There have been several roadmaps so far, um, but um, till today there is no specific view on the issues of women. And uh, again, under this UN Security Council Resolution 1325, we are all bind together by a common goal that we should be involved in peace um, uh, processes and peacekeeping processes and in our three societies it's still not reality and fourth and uh, most important is that the women are going to um, edit a petition that will be sent to the European Union to the, all the parliamentarians and we will call upon them to um, stand, to invite the head of states, so in this case Netanyahu and Abbas, and representatives of the 1325 coalitions from all three countries, um, for a peace conference in Brussels, alternatively in Berlin, but it, um, in the area of the European Union, because I, we think that democracy. Um, doesn't need any secret doors or rooms. And I think um, people who voted for those um, head of government have the right to know what is going on and they can do it publicly, so uh, in front of running cameras, so that we know what the truth is behind the negotiations that they are leading. So this is, this is a political aim, to bring it away from the US to the European Union, knowing that um, the EU already has association agreements with Israel, they are in association agreements with Palestine, and it's our common goal, um, not only as taxpayers, but only as also as neighbors and, and friends, um, yeah, to bring something up that leads into a better future.